Hello YouTube and welcome to the ninth tutorial in the PHP programming series and in this video we're going to cover the if statement and so far you know what have we learned all we've learned how to do is say some say a piece of text to the browser and add up some stuff but now we're going to look at the things that make programming so you know more dynamic and how to make PHP scripts more dynamic and can you know really reflect on what the user actually wants to do and we're going to do this through an if statement and an if statement is it basically makes a decision in real time like the values that go into the if statement can be edited but the it just makes a decision on whether to do something or not do something and we're just going to go into it right now so what you need to do is put your obviously we're going to make our PHP file first starting and ending tag for a PHP file I'm going to call this if.php nice and easy to type and okay so we're going to jump straight into it um, the first thing we'll do is create a variable so that name equals Chris is going to be the variable and to make an if statement it's quite simple to type it starts off obviously with if and after that we need our condition so what this is saying is if and then we'll have a condition and if that condition is true then we can choose a code to be executed so what we need to do is put some brackets and inside of these brackets is the condition so the condition goes here and what our condition is going to be is if name and we're going to use our first comparison operator here the equals equals now what this does is compares one thing to another and that's saying if this equals and then let's type Chris here that's saying if name is equal to Chris and you might be saying why can't we type it like like this if name equals Chris well if you remember our variables tutorial this is this operator will assign I think it's called the assignment operator this will assign a value to a variable so we're actually not saying if name is equal to Chris here we're saying if and let's go and now name is going to be assigned Chris so that isn't really an argument isn't, isn't a condition so we need to use double equal sign and if that is true and now we need to execute the code now people mm, any experienced programmers might question this but I'm just going to suggest use curly brackets all the time so we need to put open curly brackets and then down here we're going to close curly brackets and what this will do is all code enclosed within the start and end of this will be executed if this condition is true so what we're going to do is echo um, hello Chris okay and so if we save this and we go to if .php, and it's going to say hello Chris but what happens if we change this to Tom and we reload it and nothing will happen because if we go to this variable name the value of name is not equal to Chris so it's not going to output that so just to you know go back and see what we've learned over this the way to do an if statement is first with the if keyword you type if and then in normal brackets you're going to type the condition now this condition needs to be true for the following code to execute and after you've typed out your condition in curly brackets all you need to do is put the code that will be executed now it is possible to do this without curly brackets but I think number one it makes it a lot neater and it's quite a bad habit to do because if you want multiple lines of code to be executed with an if statement it will cause problems so I'm just going to suggest to you guys to use curly brackets or curly braces whatever you want, everyone want to call them these things and enclose your code inside of that so that's the end of this tutorial for if statements and we can also you know we can try out another one you say if if name is equal to Tom and then we'll have our curly brackets and an echo hello Tom oops put Tim there we'll save it and reload and we're saying hello Tom so that is the end now so I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial 
So just for a quick summary, if statements are used to make a decision based on a condition, this the condition goes inside of the brackets and the code to be executed will be enclosed in curly brackets after the after the if and then condition. So you can go and try that out. You can use numbers, you know, whatever you want to do. So let's just one more thing we'll do, we'll just say total is equal to five plus one and then we're gonna say if total is equal to six and we'll have curly brackets here echo your answer is six we'll save and reload and you'll see that it outputs your answer is six so hopefully this is explained if statements to you guys and you understand it now and if you have any questions just leave a comment on this video please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials